after Bitcoin got exactly rejected from the resistance I have discussed in yesterday's video, we are right now seeing a breakdown of the symmetrical triangle and on today's update video, I will be exactly explain what this means for the Bitcoin price action right now, how is the structure on Bitcoin developing, what is the Bitcoin CME future gap doing and will it be getting filled up and I will be talking about the most important charts, data points and many more important stuff we need to know currently about the Bitcoin price action. So without any further ado, don't forget to to slap that like button back up of 1000 likes that will be highly appreciated and with that being said let me jump straight away in towards the content because yes jumping in towards the imminent short term on bitcoin i discussed it on yesterday's and the day before video of course i've talked about the symmetrical triangle and of course i talked about this very important horizontal resistance level which was sitting around 72.5k and first of all we indeed saw a breakout of the symmetrical triangle we saw a retest of the symmetrical triangle but eventually still Bitcoin did decide to be breaking down so what we have seen is a slight little fake out here on the top side but what I want to be pointing out is that if I'm looking at the 4 early time frame we're clearly getting rejected by this very important resistance box that provided resistance and support in the past and that clearly once again provided a significant rejection for the price action on Bitcoin so yeah currently we can see that Bitcoin just saw another rejection but there is still a clear fundamental shift on the price action on Bitcoin right now since we are creating indeed higher highs here right now on the price action and also higher lows so the structure on Bitcoin is looking extremely bullish in my opinion still and currently we are actually retesting this very important previous resistance box as support and Bitcoin already bounced a little bit towards the upside from off this level so I don't really believe that this is a real big time to be worried but of course while this was happening we also had that CME future gap still sitting on the lower side and right now we filled it up partially but do remember this also still see me gap around sixty three thousand dollars i'm not saying necessarily that it is going to get filled up but as bitcoin goes lower the opportunity will be of course bigger and I think right now that we are indeed trading in a significant uptrend and if you're just looking at the 12 hour time frame it looks to be that we're creating somewhat of a W structure with of course a higher low structure at the same time and of course what we need to break in terms of resistance is just that previous resistance as autumn high so as soon as Bitcoin breaks above this resistance box this red box right here that is the point where we're just really going to be flying I mean right now we're still clearing a lot of sell orders from people that actually want to be going out of the market and I mean if I'm looking at the ETF data yes Yesterday we saw another 18 million US dollars worth of outflows and an approximately 150 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin getting sold off from GBTC. So we're still seeing a lot of sell pressure from that side and yeah we did not have positive inflows well last week was actually quite positive but of course this could change also very rapidly but right now Bitcoin is just consolidating bouncing from support and maybe we're going to be once again seeing some similar consolidation phase like we saw over there but you have to understand that right now this consolidation phase that we've been trading in is already lasting for over 36 days right now and the longer such kind of consolidation phase is going to last the more exponential the Bitcoin breakout is going to be eventually and you have to understand that consolidation below autumn highs is generally speaking very bullish for Bitcoin and we did so also exactly in 2021 in 2016 and in 2012 and 11 so this is just a very normal thing and very bullish so if you want to be trading this breakout or the upcoming breakouts because yes I am really expecting Bitcoin is going to be having some very exponential price action anytime soon make sure to check out March X in the link description of today's video because if you right now sign up an account using that link below you will get a free 50 US dollars and by signing up an account and depositing more than $100 in your first seven days you will also get an additional free 50 US dollars so make sure to check it out you, you can literally get a free 100 US dollars for only depositing $100 on March X which is of course an insane deposit bonus and as of course the bull market is coming you want to be benefiting from these free deposit bonuses these exchanges are offering you so if you're interested in trading check it out in the link description of today's video you can trade loads and loads of cryptos on March X not only Bitcoin but many many altcoins as well up to 50 20 and some even 100x leverage so make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video 
if you are interested in trading and going further in towards the content we can start to see that the funding rates they are still quite low in my opinion but of course what i want to be seeing here is of course the funding rates to go negative and i mean we have seen the funding rates go negative many times before but basically what it means if they go negative it will mean of course an opportunity where i'm gonna long bitcoin with massive amounts of money i mean right now we've not seen it go negative yet here we have seen the funding rates really getting reset and every single time the funding rates reset in the previous bull market it was historically speaking a very good opportunity and what we're currently seeing here on the price section of bitcoin as well the funding rates after bitcoin rallied significantly towards the upside also significantly reset it and that is generally speaking also a very good thing and if i'm going to look at the liquidation heat map still the majority of the liquidity is laying above us sitting around 73 thousand us dollars with an approximately 1.7 billion us dollars worth of liquidations on the short side so yeah still i think bitcoin is eventually going to be moving up here currently we're sitting around 69 thousand us dollars and honestly this dip is not all too big here and we can just clearly see if i just remove all the drawings that bitcoin indeed is in a massive consolidation phase and that is no doubt but right now we're starting to see a new behavior in this consolidation phase where we're creating of course a higher high and i mean we have been already creating a, a higher low as well and this is de definitely a very good trend where we're currently sitting in and the moment we just break above that red box of resistance here on the top side that is going to be the point where bitcoin is most likely going to go most exponential so you should keep your eyes wide open on that but you have to understand that in nine days from now on we're going to get the Bitcoin halving. And I mean, right now, there's only 1.75 million Bitcoin left on exchanges. And as less and less Bitcoin is available on exchanges, and as less Bitcoin is getting mined due to the fact that the Bitcoin halving is going to come, we're going to get a massive scarcity effect here. And historically speaking, Bitcoin goes always up after the halving. And the question really is, how much is it going to be this time? Last cycle, it was a last cycle it was over 800 percent that bitcoin went up after the halving and and now i'm expecting something to be like two or three hundred percent but if bitcoin were to be increasing two to three hundred percent i would definitely take it since it would put bitcoin significantly above two hundred thousand us dollars so that is what i am personally expecting i'm not expecting 800 percent but 200 percent would be a very realistic target for bitcoin to increase after the halving and right now, all we're seeing is just consolidation around all-time highs. And that is just a very normal thing to be happening in such kind of a market stage, in such kind of a bull market. All we're doing is clearing the final sell orders. And you have to see that Bitcoin is already holding up above $60,000 for over 38 days here. So this is super bullish. I am bullish on Bitcoin. I don't think that we're going to be going lower anytime soon here. And this is just a consolidation before we're going to be absolutely exploding. So make sure to pay attention accordingly. The bull market is still yet to begin. People are still yet to get big FOMO on Bitcoin. And especially don't miss out on some of these altcoins. But anyways, this was it for me in today's update video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Slap on the like button. And I'll see you guys back tomorrow on another update video. Peace out. Goodbye.